Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Kansas State Wildcats and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Dick, you've been in this situation as a coach. What do you tell your team when it looks like a mismatch on paper? I'll tell you what, it looks like an Evan Emma, but you never know. If they come out and get an early start and play with some confidence and get that early lead, they can put pressure on the favorite. The Hawkeyes should be in for an uphill battle tonight, Dick. What do you see as the keys to their success? Well, the keys are very simple, my friend. First of all, play at your own tempo. Don't get into a run-and-gun game, baby. Second of all, make sure every possession you have is a good possession. Don't turn the rock over. And lastly, make sure you eat up the boards. I think you're dead on, Mr. Vitale. Let's see what happens. Let's get this one started. Weaver takes the shot with a jump hook and off the mark. Tempo to game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. He gets the rejection. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Tries for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Two. Great play to take that to the basket. Dumps it in. Mack receives the ball. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Perfectly executed. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Trying to go inside. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Pressure that basketball. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Lost some ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. The center receives the pass. Set that screen away. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Up and inside. Wang handles the feed. He goes for three. He nails the bucket. The brush is getting to him, Brad. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. They need to get him the ball there. The Wildcats have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. He up fakes for the bucket. I tell you, there's a great job getting post position. Hey, Brad, that shot's impossible to stop. It's unbelievable. It's not utilized enough. Trying to feed inside. And, Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brad? If only my knees weren't aching. This is great hustle and great defense with a steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass, and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Oh, yes. They work the perimeter. I close screen, going to use it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. On the dribble, gives it up. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. It's a fast break possibility. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Jump hook from the low block. And in and out. They'll work it around the arc. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. They look to get it to the inside. Almost lost the basketball. Puts it up. Off the rim and no good. With a rejection. Great play to take that to the basket. Robert. 
That's a foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. And I think right now, got to focus defensively. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Weaver handles the pass. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like that. Yeah, that helps. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. we got a good one going. Puts it up, looking for contact. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Time to pick up the defense here now. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Drains the shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. Both teams looking to get things going here. Gave it up. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out play. Everybody into the act right now, and you can tell by the cheerleaders on the sideline how things are going. And you know what makes college so special? The enthusiasm of the cheerleaders, the mascot, everybody involved. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They're off into transition. Perfectly executed. Jumped in front to take it away. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. That's a 7-0 run. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you gotta get help because you gotta see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you front it. He's going nowhere. Going Ball nowhere. stolen. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Up fake. Turnaround jumper. They still don't score. And they get the turnover. I sometimes wonder what it would be like to be a Skywalker. Elevating and throwing it down, Mr. Nestler. How much fun would that be? The skip pass is picked off. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. For two, he shows the sweet touch. That's 11 unanswered. It's always interesting to see who's still hot and who's not after a timeout, Dick. Well, you got to think the shooters might be the most affected, Brad. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle, Dick. I think it's very essential that you establish post position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And the jam. They scored 13 in a row. Controlling the ball. They get that rejected. The Hawkeyes have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. And the ball goes out of bounds. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, guys, the coaching staff told me before the game that all this pregame hype wouldn't be a factor, and it looks as if they were right. Thanks, Aaron. Goes up for two. 
Wow, what a super job of running his man into the screen for that sweet jumper. Looking for a good shot. Trying to draw the foul. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Obvious foul. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. Dick, he's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. We got a lopsided game so far, Dick. You've got to be prepared mentally and physically right from the start. You can't afford to give up these big early leads. Moving it around the perimeter. Whole team that's on the floor is quick. But so's the defense, and they do a nice job. There's a slam. Great execution. That's offensive efficiency at its best. The Hawkeyes have a somewhat unique style of play. Hey, bullies. They're big bullies out there. Being physical is the name of their game. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. <laughs> Tries for two. He's money with the shot. Both teams are looking to get something going here. And a momentary look from three-point land. Ball was loose, but the offense got it back. Top of the circle. Comes up short. He pulls down the board. From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Top of the circle. Gets it to go. That's absolutely sensational, even the second time. He tries to knock down the three. Great shot. They work it around the perimeter. Roberts is feeling great out there right now. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Dick, are we witnessing the beginning of a blowout here? We are if things don't change in a hurry. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. If I'm coaching, he's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> he's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He launches a three. He gets that one to fall. There's a bad pass right to the defender.
work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. The Hawkeyes have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Daddy's on fire. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? Gave it up. Here's the offensive drop step and a low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Boy, terrible execution on offense. Trying to draw some contact. gets it back after that ball was knocked loose. Iowa are putting together a pretty good run here. Execution's been the key, baby. He didn't have the good angle. They should have gotten it to him about a second earlier. For two. Married it. You don't get any points for the replay, but it still looks great. defensively on him on the low block. Yeah. He's trying to three quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job of post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He fouled him. I don't even know if you and I can find a seat in this place, Dick. I'll tell you one thing, you get the home court advantage when you got a crowd like this. By the way, you and I have the best seat in the house. There's the trap. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, and the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure into basketball. Count that as a personal foul. pass in the paint. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense not allowing him to make that turn. Stolen away. He's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Steal. Gets the ball and now faces his man down to the low block. Oh, very aggressive player once he got up in the face-up position in the post. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. That's basic. Shoots it. Got it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially wants a three. Rejects it. Had a guy in the post, but elected to reverse the ball. He makes a nice shot fake. Double team now, bad angle. 
10 on the shot clock. He shoots from the top of the circle. Dribble gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Tries for two. He hits a bullseye again. Hey, he's feeling it from everywhere, baby. Picks off the pass for two. Perfectly executed. They work the perimeter. the perimeter three gets it to fall replay is queued up let's watch it again gave it up got some room he shoots Iowa have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. They say forget about it, and then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries to get the D to bite. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, kid, me. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Puts up the shot. Scorches the net. Here's another look, Dick. The pressure that basketball help one another communicate. He can't miss. Hey, this young man's feeling it, Brad. Pump fakes. There's a double team waiting there. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipating really well. With a deep pass. The shot from the baseline. That's good. the perimeter gave it up he makes the block way off target at the half the Hawkeyes are trailing by 10 well Dick so far we've got a close one any play that sticks out to you as the highlight of the half check out some of the inside play we witnessed in the first half we saw some great baskets down low, which really opened up the outside range for both teams. Let's get back to the action and see what happens. Iowa is not hitting the boards with any kind of efficiency in the first half. I agree, partner. They're getting beat to the punch almost every time. Well, Dick, we kind of expected that battle between David and Goliath, and that's what we saw in the first half. What do you expect in the second half? Well, I'll tell you what, in the second half, I expect them to really do a better job, the end of the ball, of protecting the basketball. I think they got to do a better job because at the end of the first half, they started to really get away from the things they did earlier. That spin move not successful, Dick. I tell you, great job on the defense, not allowing them to make that turn. He attempts the old-fashioned hook shot. Dick, he's in a serious rhythm. Hey, that's because he's getting the ball in rhythm, Brad. Very important. Pull-up jumper from way out. Off the rim and no good. 
Great play to take that to the basket. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Nick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatches. Stolen away. Fast break opportunity here. Buries it. Working it around the perimeter. When I think of home court advantage, this is what I see and this is what I hear. The crowd's fired up, and I'm sure the team is too. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Here's a flash from the post up high. Takes the pass in the paint. Jumps in. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Defense giving some room. Goes up for two. Iowa are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, that'll keep pushing and see if they can force a timeout. like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Foul charge. Oh, and you can see the frustration as he picks up the foul. Oh, that's a bad, bad foul right there, Brad. High post player flashing. They're working around the arc. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see more man. That's essential when you play out there and you front it. They let him get into a rhythm. The defender is still applying great blow pressure, Brad. Step out on that screener. Sinks the shot. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. Intercepted. Roberts picks up the defensive foul. Let's take a look right here. Check out this young man, Brad. He's talking the opponent. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. On the inside, here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Fakes a jumper. He goes with a jump hook. I tell you, he didn't waste any time. He got the ball in the right position. And then what it does, it keeps the defensive player away from blocking the shot when you make that turn. They're going to move it around the perimeter. Look at that student body. They are going mad. Aren't they great, Brad? I love it. the perimeter they've left him completely alone man he used that screen to perfection he used it to get free baby for the good luck takes away the pass
jumps into the defender. Basket falls despite the contact. They're working around the perimeter. Too physical. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. He shoots from the top of the key. Sinks it. They strip him in a basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. Nick, look at the number of points off turnover. I tell you, getting baskets off turnovers is such a great and easy way to score, Brad. You want to maximize these opportunities as much as you can. On the dribble, gives it up for two. He gets it to go. Here's the toss back out from the post. I'll tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. For the bucket, makes it. He intercepts it. Gave it up. Picked off. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. Definitely a foul. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. Nicky's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. He fires from long range. Gets it to go. Listen to the crowd. You can cut the intensity with a knife. It's crazy in here, Brad. There's a high percentage shot. Wow, what hops, baby, what hops. Gotta take some pride on the defensive end. Try to come up with a steal, and they do. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. And he'll kick it back outside. Shots there if he wants it. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Looking for a good shot. There's the fake. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of the dunk and one. Great job of going up strong through the contact, baby. Dick, look at this. He's not afraid to let anyone know how he feels. Brad, the players are feeling it, and they want everyone to know that they're feeling it. The Wildcats go to the line for the first time in this game. He makes it. The Hawkeyes are trailing by six. Oh, Screener took some punishment setting that pick. Makes the shot. Now the turnaround jump. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jump. And the only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. Kicks it out. And now they'll bring it up. 
Nice job to create the angle using the glass. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Working it around the perimeter. It looks as though the students are all wound up and ready to agitate the opposition. The student body looks like they're having some fun out there. Takes the pass in the paint. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. For two, the Hawkeyes have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Screen. Ooh, look at the shot block, but he got some contact. Nice hops. When you're talking about the Big 12, people often mention Texas, Kansas, Oklahoma. Yeah, Brad, they do. But it'll be interesting to see how or if the recent coaching changes will affect the style of play that the Big 12 is known for. Knocks it down. To get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. He shoots from left of the circle. Ten on the shot clock. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork beating to the spot. That was nice. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. Diggy's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. And the fans are going wild. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Stolen. Throws it up. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. They are red hot right now. They're feeling it from everybody on the floor, Brad. They're getting it from every spot on the court. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Dick and Brad, I know you're in shock, so am I, but nothing is slowing down this underdog team tonight. They played their game in the second half and never looked back. Thanks, Aaron. On the inside. Looking for contact. He hits it. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times you have a great post play, you got a chance to really win. Up and inside! The circle they work it and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. He buries the shot. Here's the replay.
He takes it away. They work it around the perimeter. He draws a foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Gets it to go. Dumps it in. Steals the pass. This one might go down to the final buzzer. At this point in the game, lock management and execution are really important. The team that does these things well will win. I guarantee it. And the fans here are loving the action. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Tries for two. I tell you, terrific shot. Really impossible to get a piece of that baby. Look at that spacing. You, what a facial on that one. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. He'll get an opportunity to change the scoreboard again from the free throw line. Well, he created a foul opportunity. Takes away the pass. Slam jam, bam, up and away. The elevator man, they love it. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Coach looks on. Focus, a lot of intensity, a lot of emotion. Rims out. He attempts the three. Iowa are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. They have to remember solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Gives it up. He unloads. He gets the shot to fall. Brad, this place will be deafening if they can score here. The ball goes out of bounds. There's a look at the timeout situation. Hey, some people like to call it game management, Brad. Knowing when to use timeouts is an art. Also, team fouls. Defender without fouling is always important. The small forward takes the pass. Great job of freeing himself with the screen, but shot won't go. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He strips him clean. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Off the rim and no good. The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. The student section looks like they're having a great time. Takes it off him. The point guard with the ball. Moving it around the perimeter. Up and inside. The point guard takes the feed. He attempts the trifecta. Rims out. They work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. He puts it in with contact and all. Nick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. Gave it up.
The power forward gets the pass. There's a high screen. Vicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. front court from left of the circle the Wildcats have got to continue to get him the ball that he's on fire on the outside got a wide open look fires away you bet see more focused play on both sides. One would assume so. They go to the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show is about to start, Brad. like to get it inside to the low block unable to so far nice job of packing it in defensively yeah really doing a great job packing it in Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass mr vital how about that state farm drive of the game oh mr nestler this one's superb the ability to get close enough to the basket and then have the presence of mind to finish off the great play wow what a play trying to get that ball movement get that good spacing Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. I think it's obvious to me that they are starting to heat things up right now. I'll tell you one thing. They're getting good shots, and they're making them count. They're in a groove, baby. And when they're in a groove, that court looks like an unbelievable Atlantic Ocean instead of a teapot. benefit the most out of that timeout, Dick. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. He was applying great pressure defense. Went for the steal, but he wound up with a personal foul instead. Hey, defenders must be confident we're going for a steal. If not, it'll often end up with a personal foul. And, Dick, that puts the lead at nine. Nine points is surmountable. This is not time to start jacking threes. Stop for the foul. I've seen you out there with pom-poms, Mr. Vitale, but not looking that good. I'll tell you what, don't look that good. I can't dance like that, baby. Hits that one. They're making good use of their free throw opportunities tonight. Good free throw shooting teams seem to always give themselves a chance to win. It's good. That line is really being good to him tonight, Dick. That line's always good, Brad. These guys just have to make good use of it. He fires it up. Off the rim and no good. For the bucket. Up. Easy one. Now they work it around the perimeter. On the outside. They're going to move it around the perimeter. And we got a whistle with a foul. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He goes to the line. Makes the foul shot. Dick, they're really getting it done from the line tonight, aren't they? And a surprisingly collective effort, Brad. He hits the second shot. 
They're seeing them all fall from the line tonight. That's a crucial plus down the stretch, Brad. He throws it up from downtown. Hey, when are these guys going to be able to make a shot? Cross court. Nick, they're really going to have to regroup. This is a big shock, I'm sure, to their fans and the coaching staff. They got to find a way to come back because they weren't what they expected. I don't want them to close it out. They couldn't make the big play. They didn't share the basketball. They really got away from what's made them such an outstanding team. Being unselfish, sharing the ball. Iowa comes away with a win. This was not the expected result. This is a definite upset. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews.